You can't press forward. Look at behind you. Somebody say, look ahead. You can't press forward. Look at behind you. Huh? You keep on pulling on the page. All right, you're going to be back there. Talk about it just for a little bit. And all right, you keep your mind back on the Lord. Huh? Of them lurking. Devil is lurking. Yes. Huh? All right. Oh, he got some tricks. Yes, he got some tricks. Yes. He got some, he got the same old tricks. He got some new faces. Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. He got some new new yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. He got some new little crooks. Yes. Huh? Yes. The internet is a mess. Yes. The internet is a mess. Yes. Hmm? You gotta watch yourself on the internet. Oh, I know what I'm talking to you. But you gotta watch yourself on the internet. Devil got some new stuff. Yeah, all right. Huh? He tried to get you to hell any way he can get you. Huh? That he cares something about you. The devil don't care nothing about you. How huh? about the time you do something? He tells you to do a little, a little bit. Everything will be all right. Right. That thing you know you're going to for, the fly. Uh -huh. Doing what you want to do. Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. Because you listen to the devil do just a little bit. Yeah. The devil said, do just a little bit. Uh -huh. The words of the left will leave with a whole lot. Uh -huh. Hallelujah! Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's right. Praise the Lord. That's yeah, we we My scripture's coming from Philippians 3, 13 and 14. It's a very familiar scripture. I'm going to get right out of it. Talk about pressing forward. You can't go nowhere. You can't go forward. Y'all seen, you ever seen somebody going down forward, one backwards? It's not going to happen. You will have to look ahead of you in order to get there. You got to look at what's ahead of you. You keep looking back, you don't have a ring. Right. Huh? That's right. So it's a natural, so it's a spiritual. You keep looking back. Amen. I'm going to know something about why. You will come to the church looking look like you've been sucking on the limb. All right, sir. You ain't going to have no praise. Amen. Never going to be done to your testimony. Amen. You don't be done to your dance. Amen. You got to look ahead. All right. Look ahead. All right. 13th verse said. Philippians 3, 13 said, Brother, yeah. uh -huh. I count not myself Look at that, to have apprehended. All right. But this one thing I do, uh -huh. forget those things right. which are behind yeah. and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Uh -huh. And the 14th verse read, reads, I press toward the mark uh -huh. for the pride of the high call right. of God in Christ Jesus. All right. Said I press towards the mark. Yeah, right. That's right. See, Jesus is the mark. That's right. Some folk got the mark wrong. Right. Some folk think they're marking their hug. Right. Some folk think they're marking their wife. Right. But the mark yeah. is the Jesus. Right. You got to press forward to get to the mark. Right. Don't miss the mark. That's right. Huh? That's right. See, this was Paul. One of the chief apostles. Uh -huh. He was talking to the Philippians uh -huh. for the first time. Right. On his second missionary. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But before Paul actually came to Philippi, uh -huh. he was actually sending messages of encouragement uh -huh. by Ephesus. Uh -huh. That was Paul's brother All right now. and his companion uh -huh. and his labor. Uh -huh. But Paul had heard, preach on, preach on. Paul had heard uh -huh. some things briefly before he then came All right. to Philippi. Come on now. He thought somebody had been trying to throw some discord in the church. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. Tell them you can do this. Uh -huh. And you can do this. Uh -huh. And you can do just a little bit of this. That's right. Uh -huh. And you can just do just a little bit of this. Uh -huh. See, Paul had heard somebody had been trying to do something. That's right. That's right. The opposite from what he had been teaching me. That's right. He had been sending messages. Uh -huh. But he got a message uh -huh. that somebody had been telling something. All right. Teaching something else that he hadn't taught. That's right. Man, it's your Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And Paul didn't like it. That's right. That's right. Huh? Yeah. But Paul begins to remind me. That's right. To press on. Press on. Yes. 
He told him in the 13th verse. Uh -huh. You got to press your way. All right. When you can't see your way. Right. You got to press on. Right. When it gets hard to tell. Right. You got to keep on pressing. Right. Listen, you got to keep pressing. Right. When the saints don't want to act right. right. When they look at your fun. Uh -huh. When they won't pay the tithe. Right. When they won't pay the fees. Right. When they won't pay the offering. Right. You got to keep pressing. Right. You got to keep on pressing for the right. You got to keep pressing. Right. Huh? Yeah, you can't go forward looking back. Right. Okay. You ought to go forward, you won't have to look for it. Right. Right. Amen. Huh? Right. Amen. Amen. Good. You can't press. Yeah. You can't press on the words about what somebody think about you. Amen. When God delivered me from people, he did the best thing he ever did. Alright. 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 Come on. Got Amen. Yes, Amen. People will worry you to death. If I let them. Yes, if you let them. Yes, I told the devil I'll shot right in their face. Yes, it don't make no difference with me. Huh? Yes, you got to know what God has brought you from. Yes, you got to know how God has delivered you. That's right. I was smoking crack every day of my life. But God picked me up. Turned me around. Placed my feet on a solid ground. And I ain't got to smoke nobody's crack. And I ain't got to smoke nobody's coke. Come on. Hallelujah. I tried to smoke cigarettes. But I couldn't hang with the cigarettes. It got me choked all up. But I smoked it for just weed. But I get my hands on it. But tonight.
Revelation 6 and 9. So be like, we, it will do. Hallelujah. But you shall reap. It do Let me hear somebody say, do
praying for somebody to tell to you.
countries. Kept wearing that money. Because she was tired, sick and tired of your flesh, of your way. I came into the ministry. I was lied on, false accused. You ain't got no business doing that. You know you ain't gonna call to preach. You won't be on in that church. But I was tired of my ways. I knew God had called me to preach. I had to preach. The Lord said, You gonna either do it or you gonna die. I said, here I am, Lord. And that time, it don't matter to me what nobody said. And nobody got no money to put me with God. Amen. Amen. My own mama, I love her. Don't get me wrong. I love her. She said, you got to do it right. I said, mama, I live right every day of my life. I said, I know what God has done for me. Amen. But this mama, and I respect him. <coughs> but let me tell you something. I was tired of being sick and tired. I was tired of what I was doing. My baby brother, the one that just passed, he went to sing with the R&B band, Teddy Riley, in Atlanta, Georgia. I hate to say it, but it was just something for me to grow on. Well, because people thought that he was going to be famous and have a lot of money and be big and everything, it was all right. Money changed people. But we cannot let money change us. That's right. When he began to sing, and Mama found out I was preaching, she thought more of him singing the blues Amen. and going to make big money than she would have thought about me preaching the word of God. Amen. But you know what I did? Amen. I kept pressing. Yes. 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 Right. I kept loving Mama. Oh, I didn't right. disrespect Mama. Peter went up and cut the man 